It's been go to university, get a job, and set yourself up with a property. Whereas nowadays, I know you're a university graduate as well. Do you think that it's got like it's almost become oversaturated in the market now? Everyone can go and get a university degree, and the more people that people that are more so successful now are the ones that have dropped out of uni and pursued what they want. That's it. I reckon that's a that is probably the most important question that exists today for parents and kids who are leaving school. That is, without a doubt, the most important question there is. Therefore, the answer's got to be the most important answer. So I want to be very careful, okay? When I went to school, I mean, I left school 40, uh, more than 45 what years ago. What school did you go to? St. John's, Punch Bowl boy. St. John's Lakamba. There you go. Benil was it? Then I went to Benil to Bank Centre okay, after that. Okay, that's where our old man went. I went to Benil in year 11 and 12, and in those days called fifth form, sixth form, and, uh, but I went to St. John's Lakamba up to that point, and before that I was at St. Jerome's in Punch Bowl. When I went to school 45 years ago, if you wanted to do better than your parents, and assuming there's no money being given to you and there's no business you inherit or go into, you had to go to university and improve your position. Today, people say, you. I hear a lot of people say, oh, that's not necessary. Well, I don't believe that. I believe it's still a good thing to do that. But it's not the only way you can make money. You can make money doing lots of business sort of ventures and going into business. So when I was that age, it was the only way you can really improve your life other than going to your dad's sandwich shop or, you know, whatever the business was and work your ass off for the rest of your life. And maybe when dad decides to hand it over to you or the mechanic store or whatever it was that he was running, you might start to make a, a good quid, but you're going to have to hang in for 30, 40 years. So that wasn't for me. But I, so therefore I would say this, parents and young people, you can either go to university, but it's not the only way you can get there. But I think going to university today gives you a really good fundamental way, um, understanding of how to learn. You don't come out with any particular skill, but you learn how to learn. That's really important. But there are other ways to learn how to learn too. You know, we have internet, we have, you know, we've got chat GPT. So you've got lots of different ways of learning stuff that you need to know about. Well, with the university, you, when you went to university, I think you've been on record saying your mum kind of forced you to go. That kind of probably what happened to us as well as like, you know, your parents are saying, that's what they've done. 100%. Go to my, university. Our, our, my dad did accounting. It's the only reason why I did accounting at university. I did a Bachelor of Business as well. I think you went along the same path, but you end up doing something completely different. Do you, how necessary do you think university is nowadays for young people? And would you have gone into it without the influence of your parents? No, I, probably, I would definitely wouldn't have gone to university if my parents, my mother hadn't taken me up to the university to enroll. I want to become a brickie or something like that. Um, you, you played a bit of footy too back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I played footy. And all I want to do is, <clears throat> all I want to do then was play footy, continue playing footy, uh, in the Canterbury Banks and District. I was already, I was in the rep side, so I mean I had a played a bit of SG ball. Yeah, I played SG ball, and uh, I and uh, you know I played with a lot of guys who ended up playing first grade. Some played state of origin, so like I was in a good side. You know, I did well at footy, and I loved it. Oh, because I know Graham Graham Hughes. Graham Hughes. Could you been? You, you could have been, been one of the entertainers at the Bulldogs. There could have been. Could have been. <laughs> well, I, well, I used, a lot of my mates. I, I moved away when I was seventeen, but a lot of my mates still stayed there. And I used to go up, um, back to the Leeds Club after Canterbury games, and uh, upstairs there was a, a bar or nightclub type thing right at the top of the building, and uh, I used to go up there all the time. And I used to, I used to love it. I mean, I, it was in my blood. But over time, I sort, I sort of weaned myself off it. I stopped going to the games. I stopped following it. And those days, you didn't have internet. You didn't have Instagram. I couldn't, nothing I could follow. It was a mission to follow something. I didn't have a television where I was living. Sounds like hell. So, so I could watch it. Yeah, totally. It was hell to me. <laughs> so I had to realign myself with other sort of outlets. John, I think uh, what's really important here, right, is that learning how to learn is critical. Too many people don't learn how to learn. Learning... What's important about learning is that it allows you to reconnect with audiences and make yourself relevant. To make yourself relevant, you've got to know what the content is. To make, know what the content is, you've got to learn what the audience wants. To learn what the audience wants, you've got to know how to actually analyze shit. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. And university put me in that position. I mean, I did a commerce law degree. I did a, I did a master's degree after that. And I, I didn't really come out with a great deal of skill. Come out with no skill, some knowledge, but no skill. But what I was good at was learning. And that's what I've done all my life. I continually learn. I am, have a thirst for learning and I would like to say a thirst to the grave. For me, you know, at my age now, I'm 67, I want to make sure that for the next 20 years, 
I continually keep my mind sharp by learning and every single day. You know, like John Kavanaugh, who had my, my, my podcast one time, the, the famous coach of uh, Conor McGregor, he wrote a book called Win or Learn. You know, there's no such thing as failure. So learning is so, such an important part of my fabric.